to my channel. So today I have another wedding planning episode for you guys. Today we are actually doing a really fun part, actually. Um, probably my most excited part out of this whole wedding planning journey, besides looking for a dress, of course. But today we are going to do our wedding venue tasting. So we're gonna pick out like all of our appetizers and everything. We already picked out our entrees, but we are gonna pick out, like I said, the appetizers and desserts and stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys along with that. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos and don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss a notification. And yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go taste some food and you guys can help me pick out what looks the best to you. Do you find me attractive or do you just like the company I keep? I wanna know you better, but I don't know how. So this is what we're trying, but this is not what we're gonna have at the wedding. This is just what we're trying. This was the candy, the can candy pork belly, spinach puff. Yep. What with mac and cheese leek bites? Mac bite. and cheese leek, leek bite with prosciutto. Yeah. This is the cucumber smoked salmon. And then bacon wrapped scallops. And then ginger chicken wonton. I think so. Yeah. This is the candy pork belly. Thank you, dear. That's really good. I feel like I've been doing this. I feel do that. Let's take this one, the scallop one. This is bacon wrapped scallop. Bacon wrapped scallop. This is a big piece. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. Wait, can you eat the scallop? There's double oven in there. This is a prosciutto, if I'm correct, mac bite? Okay, I'm gonna bite into it. This is leek. Leek, yeah. Okay, ready? Ready? I think we have to have these. <laughs> More than anything. Because I'm thinking not just me, but like everyone's like. Yeah. This is the uh, smoked salmon. Yeah, with cucumber wrapped around it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know, I like this. You're not feeling it? I love it. Then it's not happening. I like it, but I'd rather have it with the mark on there is not having that. Okay, the vegetarian option. What is it again? Spinach pesto. Spinach pesto. Okay. I already this is gonna be yeah, it's gonna be a half I like that yeah. Perfect vegetarian option. Really Even if you eat meat, you would like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are usually a big hit at a wedding. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. That's the winner. Work the way outside in. Salad, 
Tuscan house salad. Don't mind my nails, little nubs. Little nubbies. And then the Caesar salad, which we were leaning towards, but this actually looks really, yeah, really good. Really good. Well, I'm curious to try this Tuscan, the Tuscan here. All right, you want to? Let's try like the. Okay. What did I eat? I have no idea. I don't either. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Let's try the Caesar first, but just because that's basic. This is a ray guy, I know it's gonna be good. That dressing ray looks really good. That's pretty darn good. That's a good season. Really good. Get a piece of it. Yeah. This is a what again? What's it called? Tuscan salad. This is a Tuscan. I like to say honey, but I think the Tuscan is a better way for the guys. Is that Caesar? You don't think people like a Caesar more? I think there's some select people that may not. Just, everyone likes it. If you like Caesar, you like that. You got what I'm saying? Like there are people that like salads but don't like Caesar. Really? Like, I thought it was the opposite. No. What about that? The Caesar salad was like the basic, like everyone ordered that. Let's throw a wrench in things and try that pair. There's gotta be reason. You want this and you're wet. Can I just show up? Okay, I'm gonna throw a wrench in things and try this. Okay. What is it? Oh, oh. So it looks like it has blue cheese. Yeah. Blue what is this? Here. Here. Okay. So I'm gonna get into the pear. I don't even like this stuff to be honest. But I'll try it with a bite of blue cheese. How's the dressing? It's good, but it's definitely a unique taste. Not everyone will go for this. Mm. It's very unique. It's delicious, but I can just see some people going. I would eat it. It's, it's a little... Just with the blue cheese alone. Yeah. So let me come. I like a bowl. I, I like the Caesar better, but I'm just thinking about everybody. You know? We like the Tuscan. I like the Tuscan and the Caesar. This is the butternut squash one. I have a feeling this is going to have a sweeter taste to it. I left for the bathroom for two seconds and you can't remember what the pastas are. I forgot what we're going to do. I don't know what it's focusing on. I do like butternut squash. Oh. I like it. So, I don't know. Is this already part of the meal? Like, I, don't know. I think that's just the regular one and that's El Alfredo. Pesto. And she was like, um, this is that, that, and I looked at her and I go, she said, she goes, I'll be back when she comes back so I can help you. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I'm gonna start taking advice of things that I'm getting full. I can't get full yet, we still have a lot to try. All right, we're trying to run one with the red sauce. Which, there was a fancier name for it, and I didn't know it. So this has obviously meat in it. Yeah. Really good. Oh yeah. I forgot the, the verbiage. Let's just split this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. That looks like potato. I'm a potato. Are you sure this isn't the butternut squash one? No, the butternut squash is usually sweeter. <laughs> Try it with me. <laughs> you gotta add so they need to write it down. <laughs> I'm trying. Go for it. It's not, right? I told you. It tastes like potato. Mm. Which one do you like the best? The 
butternut and then the... You like the butternut splash on the bag? Not the bag. These two obviously like these two. I like the butternut splash. This is going to confuse me because I fucked up the whole first sheet. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Drink selection. <laughs> oh boy. So this is the eggplant. This is for a vegetarian dish. This is absolutely delicious. It's the eggplant. This is not banquet food. No. This is like this is like restaurant caliber food. It's really good. No wonder everyone said that here mm -hmm. is the best wedding food they've had. People say around the room that the salmon is really good. Ooh, with capers. Filet, which should be, of course, which we understand is banquet. Chocolate parfait, a strawberry cream parfait, a cannoli. Yeah, it's a cannoli, and then this is a miniature bumpy cake, which is like a Michigan I think thing. It's yeah. Of yeah. I feel like at least one parfait is good to have because everyone likes Excuse eating me. these little things. This is the one that she these said are, she wants. Yeah. Year. These are great because they're set up so that they're individual. Like I like how they start it. Yeah. All right. I'll try. It. We'll let's try this one together. Yeah. <laughs> she told me to shut up. I didn't even say anything. It's like it's crunchy balls. <laughs> what is Sayla not? A lady. Try that. It's really good. She just said it has crunchy. She said it has crunchy balls. <laughs> crunchy balls. In it. I don't really 
love cannolis. Sorry, Grandma, because this was her favorite dessert. But. <laughs> It is actually good. It tastes like an elephant ear. Is it really? It's good. I mean, there is. It tastes like an elephant ear. I think this too should be better. Than. For sure. Because if we don't want to do all chocolate, this is good. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching our little tasting video and all the food was so so good let me know down below in the comments what dish or appetizer anything looked the best to you and help us pick out some food it was a really tough decision and it still is a tough decision of which food we like the most but your comments will help us out a lot so i love you guys and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys